Hi guys, in this video I will cover random numbers in C++. So to get random numbers, all we need to do is call the rand function. So this is rand and then open close parentheses. And this will return a random number. So first, let's output this and run this program and see what we get. Because what we're getting may not be exactly what we expect. So this gives us 16807. And then if I run this program again, 16807. And again, and again. So this number doesn't happen to be that random at all. Um, after a few runs, we can pretty much predict that it's the same number over and over again. The reason for this is that we didn't set the seed for the random number generator. So in order to do this, we need to include C time and then we call S rand. So S rand is for setting the seed and typically this will be passed the time function. So the time returns the second since January 1st, 1970. And this is the Unix time and this will be used as the seed for the random number generator. And since every time we run the program, will be at a different time stand, so the numbers of seconds will be different, we will always get a different random number when we call rand. So let's run this program again, now that we set the seed. So we get this number is pretty large. We can see the last four digits are 2274. And then here they are different. If we run it over and over again, they always change. <clears throat> now, the rand function can be called multiple times. So we could do, we, we could call rand again here, R2, and we get a different random number. If I output this, oops, and we run it, we will get two different random numbers. And if we look at the first and the second, just at the last four digits, we can see that they change. So we don't need to set the seed every time we call the rand function. The seed only needs to be set once at the very top. And then every time we call rand, we get a, um, a new random number. So let's say we want to build a sample application where we want to roll a dice like uh, a game where like, like a game where we roll a dice so let's create an integer that represents the dice and now we call rand a lot of times we don't want to have these very large numbers so now since we have a dice a dice doesn't have this many numbers typically the dice will have one through six so what can we do the first thing that we can do is mod use the mod operator mod six and this will give us numbers zero through five now, if, if it happens to be 6, it would be 6 mod 6, and that will give us 0. So we have to add 1 through it to get a range of 1 through 6, all inclusive. And now if we output this, dice, and we run it, we can see we wrote a one, we wrote a one, now a four, now a five, five again. So this is kind of a random dice that we're getting. Every time we roll it, we get a different number. Now, if we don't want to have just a a dice, but maybe another range, we can kind of do it um, as a formula, if you will. So we have a minimum number. So in this case, I, I use the dice as an example, and I set a minimum and a maximum number. And with that, we can kind of compute or, or set up a formula, if you will, for the random generator to always give us a number within that range. So I have min and max. Min and max are the is it represent the minimum number in the range 
and the maximum number in the range of random numbers that I expect. Now the difference I get by subtracting the min from the max. So here, if I subtract one from six, I get five. However, I, and, and there are five different numbers in between, but I do want to include the six as well. So I add one to it. So this gives me six different numbers in that range. Now, the next thing that I do is pretty much the formula I had before here. And uh, I call this value this time. I call the rand function mod the different values that I expect. This is my diff. And then I add the minimum. So adding the minimum essentially shifts the numbers that it's not just the six different numbers from zero and, and forward, but maybe from one to six. Um, and, and this will give us another dice here. So let's actually call this dice two. That's our value. Now if I run this, the dice two gave us five. And if I run this again, it gives us some uh, random number. So here it's two, one, and it, it'll always be between one and six. Now, if we were to shift this, let's say we want to have random numbers between 50 and 100. The difference here, we compute that we have 50 different numbers plus one to include the maximum value. Otherwise, it would give us just 49 uh, different numbers because it wouldn't include the 100. So we add the one to it. And then when we compute the difference, we don't want to just have the first 50 numbers from zero to 50. We actually want to start at 50. That's why we add the minimum. And so once we have this, we can always just change our minimum maximum here. This could be wrapped in a function if you know how to implement a function. And so we don't need to uh, kind of come up with this every time. We just change it up here. So this is how you get different numbers and diff different random numbers in, in ranges if you want to limit the range and not just the default random number that really could be anything. So this is kind of how you set it up. Thank you for watching.